everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I um <laughs> I'm ready for work, obviously. It's a Monday. I need to go to work. Um I was just thinking as I was doing my makeup and getting my hair ready like do you guys like these videos? <laughs> I personally love doing the weekly vlogs. I feel like it's a really fun opportunity to get let you guys get a glimpse into my day, my week, my life, um, things like that. So I hope that you guys are indeed enjoying these videos. I was just thinking the other day, like, I keep posting these, but I've never thought to ask if, like, people actually like them. <laughs> so... Uh, on the agenda today is obviously work. I was supposed to box up my Nespresso that needs to go back, but I think that that's going to have to shift to tomorrow. I have about five minutes before I need to get out the door, and I want to make sure that it's boxed up properly. I need to, I don't think I need to put the label on it. I've returned stuff before to the Amazon store, and you just have to like scan the barcode on your phone kind of thing. So, um, my bed is made. It's kind of hard to see, but it's made. We're starting the week off right. <laughs> I had my water before my coffee. Um, it's another habit I am trying to get on board with and stick with. I did my morning reading by reading The Daily Stoic. I am like actually two days behind now. I was already like six days behind because I purchased it late. Um, but on the weekend, I just didn't think to pick it up. So now I'm behind a couple of days again, and that's totally fine. But um, I really enjoy reading that in the morning. I've seen several other people mention it, and that's why I ended up getting it. Um, you know, things get mentioned enough times on the internet, and you're like, oh, okay, maybe I should check this out or not. I don't know. Um, but that's why I ended up getting it. And I, I've really liked it so far. I've really wanted to be more intentional about not jumping right into my phone immediately in the morning, um, which is just a habit that I, I'm not going to say it's a horrible habit. Obviously, if there's things that you need to check in with in the morning, you should do that. But for me, I felt like, oh, I just realized I haven't put my rings on yet. <laughs> um, for me, I felt like once I picked up my phone, I couldn't put it back down. I was checking Instagram, Facebook, my emails. I was trying to catch up on comments. And now I'm trying to almost time block. So I will, I have switched from reading comments in the morning to scheduling almost like an hour in the evening for that. that those kinds of things I'm trying to shift to later. And I'm also trying not to get on other social media platforms until after I have um, done other things, like make sure my dogs are let out, make sure that they're fed. I've had my coffee, I've had my water, I've done my reading first. And then sometimes I don't even touch social media until I get to work. Um, that's just how it works. But that's how I'm kind of at least trying to shift my morning routine to make it feel a little less, um, I think I shared this in my weekly reflections and I, I posted it on Instagram, but I wanted my mornings to feel a little bit less like I was on autopilot. Um, and that's what was happening. Like I was like, yes, I have like the perfect morning routine. And I realized I wasn't getting anything out of it. Yes, I was getting to work on time. Yes, my bed was being made sometimes. And I was getting my lunch made. And I was getting out the door with all the things that I needed. But it became so much of a habit that I wasn't feeling fulfilled or inspired or motivated. I was just kind of like, bleh. <laughs> you know? So that's how I'm trying to adjust things there. All right, now I only have two minutes to get out the door. So I'm going to head to work and I will catch up with you guys in just a bit. All right, well, I'm home from work and this day changed drastically. <laughs> um, I'm quarantined for two weeks. Uh, I was notified at work earlier today that I was, I had a contact with a known positive um, person with COVID. To top that off, my husband is sick, my daughter is sick. They've both been tested for COVID today. <laughs> we are waiting for results and um, I'm gonna bleach my entire house from top to bottom. Um, the good thing is for me is that I have a laptop for work so I can actually telework for the next two weeks. I don't enjoy teleworking very much because a lot of what I do specifically with um, some reporting that I do is definitely done more efficiently in the office. Right now I'm just in shock, like this is the closest 
I have been near someone who had COVID. Like, obviously, I didn't know at the time. Um, but I, I appreciated being notified immediately by multiple people. So <laughs> um, I, I appreciate everyone looking out and making sure that I got out of my workplace uh, very quickly. So um, that is what I will be doing. Our house is kind of a mess. The working Nespresso is now here. So that is like the positive thing of my Monday. Um, I have a grocery pickup order to pick up, but right now the only person in our home who is not quarantined technically who hasn't had contact with us today is Nathan. So he's actually going to go do the grocery pickup order. I am so thankful that I placed this order when I did. Oh my God. And a lot of what I was going to make this week is like already comfort food. Like I was going to make chicken noodle soup in... On Wednesday now I'm making it today because it's like a domino effect everyone's going down quickly here and I think that some homemade chicken noodle soup is exactly what everyone needs I hope um, Jesse's results he actually got tested at my job and because of um, the type of people I have contact with he he's an ASAP test, so we should find out by tonight. I was trying to figure out the best way to say that, but um, so we should find out tonight if he is um, positive or negative. I'm praying he's negative. Um, and then Kayla's, she's no longer a military beneficiary because she's out of college, so she had to go somewhere else. Their result time right now could be anywhere from three to seven days, so she cannot go back to work until she gets those results. It's... <sighs> We will get through this. So for now, I am just focusing on cleaning up some things at the house and I am going to, with my many <laughs> tubs of Lysol that I was able to get here and there when they were restocking, I'm gonna start wiping some things down and yeah, that's what right. we do. Whoa, <laughs> I look a little scary, sorry. Um, so update, Jesse's COVID test came out negative. I, I can never figure out where to stand in my kitchen this will have to do. We had like a frozen pizza and stuff for um, lunch earlier. Working from home like for a whole day. I've done like half days of teleworking here and there, but a full day, I am beat. Like I'm just, because it's extra work to get things done when you're not just in the office next door getting the information that you need. And it was just like back to back to back emails. Luckily, no Microsoft Teams calls because I was not ready, <laughs> but um, so, so far today, I think I'm gonna make some chicken noodle soup for dinner tonight. I didn't end up making that last night. I, I can't, I need, there. maybe, okay. So, um, I didn't even think I've ran a brush through my hair. This is, this is bad and I have two weeks of this. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I think we're gonna make soup. Um, even though Jesse's COVID test came out negative, he actually feels way worse than yesterday so we're just kind of keeping an eye on him and staying far away as far away as you can in the same house um even though his test was negative we just want to be very safe so um kayla is still waiting on her covid test we're just taking one day at a time really that, that's really all that we can do but other than that i just need to find a rhythm for these two weeks without throwing off the rhythm that I have after this two weeks. So tomorrow I think I'm going to be a little bit more intentional about at least putting on a little bit of makeup, not a full face of makeup, <laughs> brushing my hair. <laughs> um, yeah, all of that. And speaking of hair, I just made a hair appointment and I have to cancel it because it's in that quarantine window. So I'm going to see if I can make it for the week after or just to play it safe maybe two weeks after. So sometime in the beginning of February to middle of February is when I'll switch it. So it's just, it is what it is. I'm not gonna be able to get it done. Um, and I don't wanna put my hair person at risk. So that's that. So other than that, I've got some dishes to put away that were sitting out since I am, me and Nathan are the only two that seem to be well. <laughs> Knock on wood. Um, I'm the one handling like putting away dishes. I've got the Lysol where I've just been like, once or twice a day spraying like the doorknobs and handrails and things that we just touch regularly just a quick little spray that's really all that i can do i took a lot of airborne yesterday and today i am like no <laughs> i mean there's only so much that you can do um 
but I'm going to do everything that I can possibly do and try to not get sick because anyway, so that's it. It's been a little bit hard to keep up with the vlog today because everyone is home and I'm very, very try to respect my family's boundaries as far as having the camera out. So I hope that you guys understand that. And I'll try to jump in here and there when I can, um, just to keep this vlog going for this week and not have it be weird and short. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, the, I don't even know the date, the 14th. I did not um, film at all yesterday because it everything just turned upside down. I think I mentioned that it might have been on Tuesday that Jesse got his results, or no, late Monday night he got his results, and he was negative for his COVID test, so we thought for sure. Kayla's test would be negative as well. No. Yesterday morning, her results finally came through. Like I mentioned before, she had to be tested at a different facility because since she's out of college, she's no longer a military beneficiary, so she doesn't go to the clinics where we go to. Her results came through, and it was positive. And I just... I don't know what it is. We were all extremely emotional about it. And the hard part is, is that she's not asymptomatic. She's very, very sick. Um, and, it, and like, I literally just did not prepare for what to say right now this morning. So I'm a bit of a mess, but, um, all we can do is, is, you know, keep her separated from everyone. She's been in her room. There's a bathroom very close to her room, so she's just basically isolated to her room. The only time she can come out is to go to that bathroom, and she must have her mask on. Nathan is not using that bathroom. They share that bathroom. Um, but at the same time, when I informed my job, because now I've technically been exposed twice but Jesse is presumed positive because he also has symptoms um and he may have been tested too early is what I talked about with one of the nurses yesterday is that he might not have had enough of the antibodies in his system yet um because he had came home for the weekend so Kayla could have had it obviously well before the weekend and um exposed all of us so now it's like no telling where my exposure came from <sighs> It's a mess. So I spent the better part of yesterday sanitizing as much as I possibly could. I mean, I, I tried. Um, I Lysoled every, I have like the Lysol spray and Clorox wipes and bleach um, and Lysoled everything, bleached what I could. Every time someone went about the house, I was behind them spraying. I felt like that character from Wally, who's vacuuming behind people all of the time. Um, yeah, so COVID is in our house. And I, I am really worried about Kayla. I really am. I mean, by the time the evening time came around, I was so exhausted. I went to bed at like 8 o'clock. And then I got up this morning and I was like, it's, it's just hard because we can hear her coughing in her room. Like, it's so hard. And I was telling my girlfriends last night, I was like, I would do anything to take it away from her. Why isn't it me? You know, she's 21. And I know that in the beginning, everyone thought like, you know, the younger people can recover easier. And I, I still believe that, obviously. Um, or, you know, most of the time they're asymptomatic. No, I think it's wrong to assume that. Um so again, we're just going to move forward today with monitoring her. I am the only one that keeps either dropping stuff off at her door. We're really trying to limit, like no one else should have contact with her to make it as, you know, so that no one else can keep spreading it around. We're, I mean, it's, it's in our house. She, she lives here. So we're doing the best that we can to prevent things from getting worse. Um, I'm very, very thankful that I have a job that I can work from home. I have my laptop here. It got really dark all of a sudden. <laughs> um, it's the TV changing, like the menu is flipping. So anyway, um, so that's where we're at. I got up quickly, just tried to look semi-presentable. I have like three Microsoft Teams meetings today and I'm just like not feeling it. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, 
uh, when I did talk to the nurse yesterday, I say the nurse, it's a nurse that I work with. Um, she did say that, of course, I now have to start watching for symptoms and they would test me um, if, if I start presenting with symptoms and all of that. So that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> so again, I feel so bad because this is not going to be one of my usual vlogs. Um, but yeah, so each day may just be a catch up and, you know, checking in with you guys and letting you know how everyone is doing. Nathan is devastated for very different reasons. He's an 18-year-old kid who's a senior in high school, and he just switched from e-learning to going back into school. And now he um, can't go to school for the rest of this week and all of next week. So um, I, I completely get his frustration. It's, it's tough. This is his senior year, and he's trying to, under the circumstances, have as much of a senior year as possible. So... Um, yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at. I have made myself some coffee. I start work in like two hours. I, my brain can't shut off and I can't sleep in. I can sleep in for about an hour or so now that I'm working from home, but I don't know how to do that. And I also, oh, I also don't want to change up my routine because in two weeks, I'll be back at work and it'll hit me like a ton of bricks if I can't wake up at my normal time and do my normal things. So I am doing everything as though I'm getting up and going to work without really getting very dressed up <laughs> and just going to sit in my office. It also, the office is right outside of Kayla's room so I can hear if she's having any issues. And she texts me. We all FaceTime. Um, it's actually kind of sad, but... Um, we're, we're going to get through it. So, um, yeah, I will probably check in later, keep you guys updated how we're doing and, and do that. So I will check in later. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> so, um, it is Friday afternoon. I've lost track of days already. Um, I'm about, I have like an hour and a half left of my work day. You can see the dogs back there hanging out with me, TV on in the background. Um, it's a rainy, yucky day here and everyone is just kind of moving forward as best as they can with being sick and having COVID and everything. So that's how things are going. I feel bad if you're new to my channel and you're just hopping on here and this is the first vlog that you've seen. <laughs> this is, this is not the norm for us. So, um, we're doing as best as we can, and everyone is home, so it's been a little bit hard to vlog, but um, today was actually a busy day for me being at work. Um, it was slower on like the COVID side of things because it's technically uh, what the military calls a training holiday, so fun fact. <laughs> um, so Monday is Martin Luther King, the Martin Luther King holiday. So normally if a holiday is on Monday, the Friday before, and it's vice versa, the holidays on Friday, but it's usually on a Monday. The Friday before is what's called a training holiday. So the soldiers will be off and a lot of other people have the day off or they choose to take a leave day because it's just really reduced manpower everywhere. Um, so I was panicking this morning because I was like, why am I not getting any of my vaccine reports? It's one of the jobs that I do. I realized, oh, they're closed today. <laughs> um, so anyway. Um, other than that, I am just sort of uh, scheduling some interviews that are going to be conducted at our clinic, catching up on time cards, pretty much catching up on the week as a whole because I kind of needed to like get my footing with this whole like working from home all day long. Back in the spring, there were a few weeks where I worked from home just in the afternoon, but never a full day like this. And I'm not going to lie, it's taking some adjusting for me, but I'm doing my best to stick to my routines as much as possible, but also giving myself a lot of grace if I don't stick to them, like to the T. So like, for instance, I'm behind on my reading at night. I've just been so exhausted that I don't follow my routine and I'm not wearing makeup. So I feel like I don't have to do all of that, you know, um, washing all of that stuff off my face. So it's a lot quicker. And then I usually just go to bed, and pass out. So, um, I am, however, really enjoying my Nespresso machine. Like, 
more than ever. Um, I try to really like watch the time and not make my second cup of the day past 2 p.m. I'm not really sure what the recommendation is for coffee, but I figure after 2 p.m. I probably shouldn't have any because then I struggle with going to bed, but lately keeping it before 2 p.m. has really been helping. So that's where I'm at. I do have some like planner things out, but it's like all work stuff. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm just, just trying to survive. That's pretty much it. So that's all for today's update. Um, oh, for dinner, I am making a like chicken spaghetti. We have been obsessed with that Rouse uh, marinara sauce. We have been using it so much that I, I should probably buy some stock in Rouse because it is so good. Um, and I'll try to like put a picture like right here for you guys who might have not heard of it. It is an amazing sauce. They have other varieties, but their marinara just seems to be um, our, our favorite. So, um, and I love making chicken spaghetti just because it's something different than regular traditional spaghetti. So other than that, um, I feel I'm starting to feel a little store crazy just because we haven't left the house. There goes my work email, but, um, we're not doing like our normal things. And so I'm feeling a little like anxious, but I do love being home. I do love that part. I just, um, haven't been home for this long in a really long time. Um, even when I had my procedure, I would at least try to get up and, and do stuff, or I could at least um, drive a short distance or whatever, but to be safe and keep everyone else safe around us, we are not stepping foot out of the house. <laughs> so that is where we were at. Um, I'll try to add in Saturday and Sunday here. Normally, if you guys are regular viewers, you know I stop the vlog on Fridays, but because we have had a very weird <laughs> week, I may include some bits of Saturday and Sunday. So I will catch up with you guys later. Hello, it is Saturday. Um, everyone's kind of upstairs in their own bubbles, just doing their thing. I have been kind of on a cleaning and decluttering spree this morning, especially down in our kitchen because it desperately needs it. And one of the projects I have been wanting to take on is cleaning our oven. I can honestly say I don't remember the last time we cleaned our oven. It just hasn't been a big priority but over this last holiday season we actually use the oven quite a bit and it desperately needs some attention so let me show you guys what i'm working with also this is a judgment-free zone so <laughs> all right so as you can see on the outside there is a drip that i need to get on the door that definitely needs to get cleaned i was told i could take the inside part of my door off and clean in there so we'll see if i can actually get that done and this is what my oven looks like. The door is pretty bad. It, we were putting something in the oven and something fell and plastic got stuck to it. And here's just kind of a close up of what we're dealing with. I have had ovens in far worse shape, but this really needs some love. So for, cl <clears throat> for cleaners, I'm going to use this easy off heavy duty oven cleaner. It does say it's three minutes to deep clean. I think I'm gonna leave it on just a little bit longer. I'm also gonna take the racks out and do those in the tub upstairs. Um, I just feel like I don't have a big enough kitchen sink to tackle that down here without the easy off getting on my granite, which is something that I'm concerned about. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. Okay, I don't feel like moving my tripod again, but <clears throat> it's important to read the directions because you're supposed to preheat your oven to 200 degrees first and then turn it off. Hang on, let me make sure I read that correctly. <laughs> so uh, let me go back up here. So you're gonna preheat uh, the oven to 200 degrees, yes, and turn oven off before applying the easy off. So read the directions, kids. Like, it's so important. <laughs> All right, that was awful. Oh my God. I was wearing gloves, so that is good. I, I, obviously it was like highly recommended that you wear gloves, but um, ugh, that was just horrible. It said three minutes, I'm doing five. I don't, I, yeah. No, I don't believe in the magic of, 
of the oven cleaner. Three minutes, I'm like, there's no way. That stuff's been on there for quite some time. So we're gonna sit and we're gonna wait <laughs> and see if this stuff really works. I feel like I've used the blue bottle of the oven cleaner by Easy Off where it was like, it had to sit for forever. The previous clean that I did before was the self cleaning on the oven and that did an okay job, but now I feel like it needs like some actual wiping down, you know? All right, so it's been five minutes. I've got one of these like reusable cloths from Grove, uh, Grove Collaborative, and I wanna see how after five minutes, how this is going to do. Oh, my oven needs a lot of help. It's so not ready. <laughs> That's um, definitely not coming off. So I think it needs longer than five minutes. Let's test on the porcelain areas in here. This coating seems to be fine, but the glass not so much. So I don't know if that space needs more time, but the black dots on there are not coming off at all. Um, so I'm gonna leave it on just a little bit longer. Okay, so that we're not here all day, I'm gonna start wiping down the other parts of the door. <clears throat> what I went ahead and did when the camera was off is I scrubbed off the door and then really wiped it down and then did another treatment of the Easy Off to see if that would help things because I honestly don't know what it is that's stuck to the door. So I'm gonna start wiping the other parts. All right, so a quick status. The inside is pretty dang clean. Um, yeah, it took a lot of wiping out, and honestly, <laughs> I'm like a sweaty mess. I just, whew, this oven was awful, and I still I feel like I need to go back and re-wipe areas like there. Um, but this door is giving me like <laughs> the challenge of a lifetime. This is now its third treatment, and I still can't get those black spots off of there, so I'm not sure at this point if it's going to work. But as soon as I'm done trying that part, I do want to go in and clean that spill mark that was in the door. So we're going to try scrubbing this again. <laughs> All right, I'm not a quitter, so we're gonna try some Barkeeper's Friend um, that works on a lot of things that we use around the house and possibly some of the Dawn um, Power Wash. I use this in our showers, just about on everything, and everybody swears by it. I promise you that <laughs> if I were a bedding woman, I would say that these spots are going nowhere. Let's try it out. So none of those things worked. So now we are moving on to trying the barkeeper's friend. All right, that is not working either. So let me get, get you guys a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here are the black dots that I'm talking about. They are significantly worse over here but they are not coming off. I'm just gonna use this as part of my uh, reasoning for getting a new stove. I'm totally kidding, but there, <laughs> there has to be something out there. Um, but I'm done, I'm done with this thing. Like we've been doing this for two hours and these spots are going nowhere, little jerks. 2,000 years later. All right, I didn't wanna give up. There are like some like scratches on the door from the abrasion and stuff like it's still wet honestly so you're not gonna really see how it is but I didn't completely give up I went another hour into scrubbing this door and it looks a heck of a lot better than it did before so the majority of the black spots are gone it's gonna be really hard to see because of the reflection but this is a heck of a lot heck of a lot better so <sighs> I will, I will clean my oven more often, that's for sure. All right, I managed to get the door off. I will probably never, ever, ever do that again. <laughs> I will definitely be more careful, but um, yeah, that was kind of a pain. So everything is off, it looks pretty clean. Part of me wants to run like the self-clean thing on it because I'm still seeing some things in the back. I feel like I've wiped this thing like a hundred times, you guys. 
All right, so later Julie here. I realized when I filmed earlier, I didn't show you guys how I took the door apart. So you will need a screwdriver just depending on the um, screws on your door. But what I did learn was that where you unscrew here in the door, you don't need to take all of the screws off. There's three on each side of my door. I just only needed to take off this one right here. These two pieces will come apart and your handle, depending on the model of your oven, will also come off. So you're gonna wanna be careful with that there. So it does give you access in the middle of the glass there and that's how you can clean it. The thing that I found hard was that you're actually gonna have to have someone help hold this piece while you're trying to screw on the handle. So um, luckily I had um, Jesse help me with that. So just wanted to throw that in there. All right, so I am done. You can see how like red and splotchy my face is. Like this project has taken like three freaking hours, maybe almost four. It, it's It's been a long one and I'm definitely gonna be more careful with how I use my oven. So that is where I'm going to wrap up this weekly vlog. I know that it was short. I know that it was weird, but it was real. <laughs> like, maybe I should put that in a sh on a shirt, but um, yeah, everyone is still kind of doing the same as far as their COVID symptoms and whatnot. I had a mask on to protect myself from the fumes as much as possible. So we're just going to keep trucking along um, and keeping an eye on everyone's symptoms, keeping an eye on those of us who don't have symptoms and make the best of this situation. So I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Bye everyone.